It's my turn. That is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Yeah. She was looking for a bathroom. I need to take my cell phone light out. Examinables. Oh, that's cool. This place has some great history. Hmm. Left hand path. Delinquency and Satanism. In 1970. Wait, what are those initials again? Um, I think you can just pull them up in your menu, but LSRT. Okay. Okay. Left stick, right trigger. That's what I, what I would imagine. Okay. More. Oh, oh, there's stuff everywhere. What's happening? Hmm. Everything must go. Football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. Hmm. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. Ravenden Textiles Factory. Way left. The town was deserted with no tax revenues coming in. Disincorporation. Huh. And that was 1979. So maybe that was the year that that was set. Yeah. June 6th, 1917. This can't happen. These guys <gasps> could be relatives. Oh, man. Do you see them? Yeah. That's crazy. <clears throat> Are all of these people dead in this town and they're just reliving different lives? Oh. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? Wait, you didn't talk to Vince? I definitely heard something. Oh. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Have I let you down? <clears throat> I ruined the game. That's okay. I didn't realize. Yeah, I didn't either. Leaving to continue on to something. Yeah, I didn't either. <clears throat> That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> we can play it over eighteen more times. Now we know. Apparently, if it has yeah. the little arrowy thing, probably is like a story continuing thing. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? Around the corner. Maps. Hmm. 
Massacre Memorial. Execution site. Hmm. A historical ruin? Oh, man. Tilly Johnson Memorial and Tilly Johnson Home. Huh. Hmm. What was that? So is that our first premonition picture? I think so. Wow. Okay, so they come in the form of postcards hmm. in this game. Maybe. Maybe also other things. I don't anything? know. Anything? Yeah, whenever you explained it, it was like a portrait. Maybe yeah. It could be. Maybe it could be anything that's a picture. Yeah. I was expecting something to freak out whenever you tried to leave. Me too. If you walk into the creepy fog, will it bring you back? I don't know. Yep. Now we know. Wow, look at this game. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Looking for I have a bad feeling about and... this. All the wrong we'll place figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. It certainly seems unnatural. Possibly even supernatural. It's super unnatural. Hmm. Oh. Good. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. You I give me the creeps? That's what I was going to say. I'm I curious so. about it. I've heard more than enough. Thank you. <gasps> Did you see that? Mm -mm. Someone was running. Are you the superstitious type? I never believed in this kind of thing. Doesn't seem like you can say the same. A lot of people still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. I don't agree at all, but we'll just have to leave it at that. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. Angela. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Yeah, she's kind of terrible. Let's go over <clears throat> where that creepy child just ran out. Why are you so dis you make an effort to keep disgusted? Up? Huh? I said, why is she so disgusted by it if she thinks it's so silly? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. Yep, what? Good thing I you alerted me to potential because I <laughs> yeah. water everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I could just tell by the camera angle. 
And all the music and sound effects kind of stopped. Yep. Did they? I didn't even notice yep. that. That dang Megan. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Hmm. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Fine. Don't believe me. You two. We need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Can't go in there. Okay. My light is not good. Oh, it's real bad. Hey, wait for us. What is that? Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. It is a clue. <laughs> Who is it? Wow, look at that wrist motion. What is your name, sir? Uh, uh. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amy, Amy, come back here. There's someone else out here, by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? This young girl came out of the fog. 
spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? She could have been malicious, I guess. Oh no. They're burning up. That girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. What do you think now, Angela? Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. Oh. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be... regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Ooh, I wonder. Okay, so I said she was malicious, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's going to help us later in the game because people will be wary of her. If she really is bad, or if she's not bad at all, and we're going to go after her, and the real bad thing is going to sneak mm -hmm. up on us now. I yep. don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, you did it. Yeah. And now you have to be Angela. Eh. What would you have done? About the little mm -hmm. girl? Uh, would you have said that she's harmless mm -hmm. or malicious? I think I would have said the harmless one. Okay. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. 
She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. Yeah, guys, right. come on. Yeah. She was from, uh, like, 1600s Salem. Yeah, duh. Ha! I shine you with my light. Looking for clues all around places. Has to be something to do with this car. Yep. Nope. But maybe. I see a clue. Okay, let's go back for said clue. Okay, that's another one. So the first one was Andrew holding a gun to somebody. Something. You're right. Who is that? Human, Human sacrifice. sacrifice? Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, relationships that everyone's <sighs> dropping. Yeah. That's hilarious. And then we learned nothing else. Yep. <laughs> That's what happened. We didn't oh. learn anything. We didn't take his drink. Let's marry. Yeah, she did cause us to wreck. But then again, maybe she was just looking for help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so derisive is locked. Hmm. And understanding is no longer one of her traits. That was one of her first traits. That's funny. Still abrasive. Getting lost in the, the bushes here. Classic Angela. Classic Tammy. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. Y'all hear that growl? <sighs> oh dear. Big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? It was a deer. Guys, it was a deer. Might get a better view from up there. Or an elk. Or a gazelle to lope. Or a prong moose. A prong moose? <laughs> a quadruple prong moose. <laughs> oh. Returning to nature. It's a prime moose obsessed with the ghost towns. Mm hmm.
Ice climbing and Hobbs Deep. Very dangerous. Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer. Hmm. When is this from? That's a great question. Zodiac Killer. When was the Zodiac Killer? Like 70s? Yeah. And it's already a ghost town? In the 70s? But that... That... Premonition... Or that... That, uh... That flashback was from, like, the early-ish 80s. And the factory was still there. Hmm. But this... Yeah. All right, guys, another let's get effigy scared. thing? Where? Hanging from the fence right there? Where? Or is it a... It's a flower. Yeah. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Now that we can control her, she's a little better. Yeah. Oh no, it's a golem. Okay, let's get a head start over away. You know, stuff. Guys, nothing creepy. There's nothing. This have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see which is worse. I swear, if it's just historical weirdos instead of anything... It's Colonial Williamsburg gone wrong. Yeah. M. Night Shyamalan version of Waiting for Guffman. <sighs> did you miss out on a clue because you didn't wobble her head to the side? No, I did. I did the... Oh. It was okay. just telling me to move. Oh. No, it won't let me go over there.
feel like I'm missing out on a lot of clues. There's something up ahead! It's... It's a bridge! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Oh no. I'll deal with this. It's your turn. Stay right here. Don't, Don't worry. mess it up. I'm gonna blow it. <laughs> here comes the first death. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, that's right. I forgot they can die. I'm so, like, into it. I don't know. Are you going to come with me? Oh. You know what? Yes. Hold up. I'll come with you. Oh, it's still my turn. Oh no. Oh, I thought I was going to pass it off to you. Oh no. Well, it's better that two of us go. Hey, you two. <gasps> This is not good. What? Huh. Oh, wait. Who is it? Who? I mean, it? It didn't say it's my turn, so go. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is me. Okay. Anyone there? Mm. Hello? Anyone? <sighs> Get off me! John! Why is it you want from me? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. Oh. Ho -ho. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, that's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. What? I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. Oh no! But I don't want Taylor to go alone. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. 
I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Guys! Okay, so they would have split up anyway. Yeah, I wonder if it would have made a difference though if... What's her name? Goes with the other group or the other one. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, any theories? Like, they're being pulled into the past. Yeah. Also, I'm shocked nobody knows what, like, colonial friggin' 1600s accents are. So, I suspect that they're not ghosts. The fog is actually connecting the two time periods. Yeah. Yeah. But why? I don't know. And why is there a 1917 version of all of them as well as a 1980s version as well as a present day version as well as a 1600s version? And do they all have, like, memories of these past lives? Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Because Angela said, you're no husband of mine. Mm -hmm. Which, in the 80s, they were married as well. And he just had a dream about all of it. Okay. Anyway, let's just keep going. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. My light's a lot brighter now. Hold up. You hear that? <laughs> oh, okay. Great idea. Shit. Oh! Oh. Must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. Oh man, see, we this is a PS4 controller, not an Xbox, and so I didn't know which one was B. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what it is? It's yeah, I do now. XY. Yeah, A, B, X, Y. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What was that that crossed the road? You got an explanation for what we saw? Oh. Nothing that makes sense. I do know. There were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the okay. hell was that? Mr. Helpful. Now what? What's up? <sighs> you look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but... Something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Are you saying... What I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. We have bigger things to worry about. We do. And I'm not sure we're really getting anywhere. We should catch up with John. She didn't like it that she didn't want to engage in her dramatic gossipy stuff. I know, right? Why is she so intent on talking about these two people dating? And why is it such a big, big deal that these two people are dating? Oh, good. Dad? 
Is that a rune? Kind of, but I don't know. <sighs> uh, Excellent. Is that what was crossing the bridge? Maybe. It's going to be over on our right. It's going to the right. Okay, it's going to be on the right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> did not really Creepy scary. professor. Are you okay? <laughs> Feels like Angela's constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. You're the one who said it. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Oh, I feel like that's a warning. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. Yep, yep, that was a... Uh... I feel like that was a warning. Like in Man of Medan when they told me that not everything you see is as it seems. And then I accidentally killed one of my friends. <laughs> Just chopped his head off. Oh, good. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. <laughs> what was that little, little kid video? No, I don't like that. Yeah. It's a jack o' weasel. He's the worst. This guy? Oh. oh goody. All right. I can't even see what's... You gotta tell me what I'm looking at, because... Oh, okay. It's that kitty. I was just focusing on the heartbeat. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. It's a cat. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking what? a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. That John guy is the worst. He's pretty bad.
somebody had that sun, like a little medallion, and some lady was wearing that moon as a necklace. In the beginning? Yeah, in the beginning. Do you remember who? <sighs> I feel like Tanya was wearing the, she, yeah, the sun I think she or something. Was, no, she had the moon. It was she like a little necklace. Okay. And was it the bus driver that was holding that sun thing? Or some somebody was holding... Onto that exact sun. Okay. Um, okay. I do remember then... the bus driver holding something. I just don't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. Good job. And dead. candy it's a dead rat oh oh no yeah he had like, that gun in the yep in the premonition mm -hmm. and then also there was a sacrifice or something mm -hmm. you all done with poking around Ooh. Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. You Don't give it, it to there. her. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be careful, I promise. <sighs> Men and guns. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again. I, I I have to agree with her, you know. I didn't I didn't finish exploring in here though. Mm-hmm. Right? Or was it that that I was looking at? I thought there was another door over here. But maybe um, not? I guess not. Okay. Place is this? No, oh, okay. I get scared every time I. Mm hmm. Where did John go? That little. Yeah, he ran off after what? We Nothing. like heard something inside the house. Didn't even oh, see anything. Yeah. He ran away. Coward. Professor? Sir Robin? <gasps> Andrew here is packing. What? A gun? Are you crazy? You don't get to say. We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. You get no say. I really don't care anymore. Ooh, he's deteriorating. Mm-hmm. They had a black cat mm -hmm. and a set of scales for their PD. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. 
Like a gun. <laughs> Thought something was going to grab me from the window. Hey, come on. Nope, okay. Sparkles. Sparkle juice. Oh, that was an arrow. Man. But what does the arrow mean? Cause... I think it means to move the scene forward. Yeah. Because here's a rock. Yeah. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Okay, just men. Saying, can you stop talking? Nobody cares. Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Yeah. What do I do? RT? Mm -hmm. For here. I do it quick. Hey. Oh, strike. I had make time. a ball player mm -hmm. out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Why is nobody questioning why there's no one in this town that we headed to? Because well, we Piece know it's cake. abandoned. You're up next. Why was he so dead set on us coming out here then? <clears throat> that was the detour. I'm sorry. It's my turn constantly. That's no, fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I really don't like John. Yep. He's a terrible coward. There's a constant light up that way. Have mm -hmm. you noticed that? Yeah. In it, like every scene. Oh man, this light's terrible though. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Clues? Clues! <laughs> oh, a clue! I'm sure it's nothing. Ooh, land for sale. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town? Witches. There was a clue, though. And the fog. What? Like, you see that, though, right? Over there? No. There was a clue. All right, fine. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Death? Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Nothing to say, huh? We'll find another way. Yeah, I'm not going to let you, like, just get away with the fact that you split everybody up. Okay, see, that was the clue I saw. This one.
Hmm. Pond Meadow. <sighs> uh oh. What? A playground? Yes. That's not good. It's very chilling. Excellent. Sparkle juice. I don't know why she led me in here, but I was gonna come here anyway. Is it a bride and a groom? There's a man no. begging for his life in a little pink dress lady with a sword. Or Oh, there's a sword? I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. That's just a, maybe a Is that a, a gravestone up on a hill? Don't know. Gotta look everywhere, you know. Mm hmm. Okay, I think I've pretty much looked everywhere. Oh, it was just a street lamp, okay. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. Well, you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. Okay. What? 
Is it the two girls? Do they have some weird ability to travel through time and then it's causing the other people to think that they're witches because of some other thing that's happening to them that is super? Oh, so one's a present day girl and one's a Salem girl? I don't think so. Uh, I, was, I was assuming that they're both from the Salem time. Okay. And so there are two little girls? I thought it was the same little girl the whole time. No, I don't think so. I think there, there's Mary, and then what? the other one, she said a different name. Amy. Amy, yeah. And Amy's the one that was, like, skipping around and not afraid of the stuff. Okay, and then he said something about our secret. Yeah. What secret? I don't know. Hmm. But I don't like it. Mm-mm. And so then I attacked him, but he couldn't see me. Yeah. But he felt me. So he thinks that she's d- doing witch stuff. And that's when she was like, no, that's the other girl. And okay. she saw the other girl dancing with familiars, which I wonder was her dancing around the fire. And then what if she could see all of them, like the modern day people, and mm-hmm. she thought that they were their familiars. That's what I was interpreting. Hmm. So my theory is the two little girls have some sort of supernatural time loopy travel connection thing, but it's being interpreted as witchcraft on them from their time. But there is some sort of supernatural weird time loop thing. Maybe we can prevent a Salem witchy trial sort of thing from happening because the guy said that's what happened back then. They had no concrete evidence. Mm Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Yeah, I know I did. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, no, it was Mary dancing around the fire. Oh. Yeah, because she said, I'm Mary. One of them's in red, though, and one of them's in black and white. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, so I had this guy with his popped collar pegged all wrong. He's apparently a hero. Mm hmm. And just a good guy. Yeah. Uh oh. Good or bad? Ooh. Oh. Man, yeah, we haven't even gotten into anything, really. Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness sakes. I feel like we're equivalent from until dawn to, like, before they even get to the cabin. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Yeah. Well, hopefully, guys, don't put too much pressure on us, though. Did you hear him? We'll get out of here. You'll see. You'll see. Ha ha ha. Creepy. Moon. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is that we've been seeing? I don't know. I guess, because then what's that over there? Because, yeah, that's the moon. That's the moon. What's that? This is the orange moon, too. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. Okay, I got it. Yeah. <sighs> You've not been too good at this. Huh? You've not been too good at the like 
quick time events. You're not? No, this whole time. Neither of us have. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know what buttons they were. Because different controllers. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. I wonder if there's settings you can change to be the position buttons. Oh! Oh! Classic Tammy. I didn't even know I was inside somewhere. A runestone? What did that mean? I don't know. Where is it? Runestone. Hmm. Look at that cool secret I found. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, there we go. Place must have been a grocery store or something. Over here, look at this. Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Don't worry, I'll find another way. What? So many sparkles here. Mm hmm. That campaign didn't work out too well. Hmm. Isn't there something on that little thing you missed? This okay. was the move forward, and then this one I don't know how to get to. Oh. Oh! Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Huh. Quite a few ways to go about this. I think I just chose the most dangerous. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. Hmm. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. We'll do. Be right Hopefully back. Hopefully not fall. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Oh. Oh! You did it. 
You got the phone. I did. I uh, bet you it would have uh, shattered if I hadn't. Mm-hmm. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. But probably not. Okay. But that a deacon what? I don't know. Huh. Okay, so maybe that's what the other priest was doing too. Hmm. Like satanic ritual stuff. Hmm. With kids. But then why would he get mad if they were doing... Ri maybe they were doing stuff without him and he got mad? Hmm. I don't know. Also, things that happened in the past are repeating in the present. Yeah. Because that was 1973, but this guy was from the 1600s mm -hmm. that we had a flashback to. Yep. Hello? Anyone there? job. Thanks. What was it? It's a rat. Hello? Who's there? How'd you get here anyway? I don't know. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Oh man. Hold on, I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. That's not her. It's 
gonna be the bus driver. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? That's his... What that's rumors? Amy. Open the door, Josie. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. Oh, I don't know. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Carver are the Mary. owners who shut down the factory. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. That's rich. I will find a way to resolve this. What's up? You saw something else, right? Who is they? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that devil stuff, but maybe not. Well, lookalike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh. Is this the golem thing that's been chasing him? Looks like it. 
The old whatchamagowns. <sighs> it's your turn, Megan. <laughs> you haven't had a turn in so long. <sighs> what do you think? Hmm. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. As if we're going to leave them behind? That's what it sounds like. Ugh. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. <laughs> something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. Got a coffee machine. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Okay, I just needed to see. Keep that sparkle. Head. Severed head. Nope. <laughs> okay. Tricks. Thanks, guys. Trick seed. Kind of like that, actually. Yeah. Bro, just go the way I want you to go. Okay, they're over there. I'm going to go in here. Because secrets and stuff. Mm -hmm. Such as this one. Uh, Dennis Reynolds. I was going to say that. Dennis. What were the initials from the beginning? Uh, I don't know. On that score sheet? RT and LS. Oh, yeah, because left stick and right trigger. Okay. Sorry, I was uh, I was trying to see if maybe that's one of them. No, not yet. Oh. Where is my light? Come on. Oh. Okay. Very hopeful. Yeah. Wonder if, um, is anything where they're looking, or should I just go through this door? Is he at arrows? Is that what's happening? No, it just is open. There aren't arrows. Oh, they might open. You think so? Oh. Psych. Locked. Well, that gives me hope that the front door to that grocery store thingy was also locked, because it said open. Yeah. What is that knocking? The old witch Gidget jail. Real nice. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's got to be something. Something. Hippie junk. Jackpot. Look at that moon. Mm-hmm. Hey. We weren't done with the hippie yeah. junk. Yeah. Pop it and flip it. TC. Todd Cheeves was here. <laughs> okay, so we have... L S R T T C. Okay. Terry Cruz. There we go. Oh, I found a phone, but I'm not going to use it yet because I have stuff to find. Did it have the arrows on it? Nope. I It wasn't even sparkling yet. Arrows. I feel like in like until dawn there was, but there were like things you could click on that would advance, but it didn't give you an Keep indicator. Looking. It didn't give you a what? Like an indicator like that that would let yeah. you know. Like yeah. you could accidentally skip around. George Reynolds. <gasps> hmm. Carver is the mayor, was the priest. Hmm. So is that the fire that we were dreaming about? Yeah. So 1972. Okay. Yep. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. It's a Zampa. Okay, so that is where we came in. And I've already been back here. So I think I need to just progress, right? Yeah. Have I missed anything? I don't think so. Okay. Gotta get all the clues. Yeah, okay. Let's venture forth. Oh, wait. What about the telephone? Yep. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <clears throat> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's gotta be a cable here someplace.
Is there something different in here now? Maybe, yeah, maybe there's something we'll be able to mm -hmm. find. Is that there's no cable. What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. Do I have my memory back yet? What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. They spoke of things that I could not make sense of. Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of... Who's that figure? It's the creepy hooded lady, whoever that is. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. That we'll was the neighbor. Mm -hmm. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best, will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I sister. am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. 
Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It is too late. They that was the sheriff before. They are here among us. What an evil little child. No. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. <gasps> what the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? And where's me? Andrew. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Let's try again. Put okay. everything you've got into it. <sighs> I did it. You did it. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused, tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? The witch trail? Is it about your turn? I don't know. This is fucking crazy. We have Wait. no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Why did Trial. Angela... The strange girl, Angela's double. 
Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Why did Angela keep Daniel back to talk to him? I don't know. <gasps> it's my turn. Woohoo! Won't you spare me over till another year?